Let's see. I have to tell this because I'm flipping. The other day, I found this cell phone on the street. At first, I thought she belonged to the girl in the photo. But I just discovered that this is impossible, because she died eight years ago in the US. And this is not the strangest thing of all. I found the cell phone last week while I was returning home at dawn. I live in Madrid. He was lying in a park near Legazbi Plaza. One thing that seemed very strange to me was that it did not have a lock code. Nobody wears it like that, right? I mean, I could see everything that was inside. I thought about looking for a number to call, but be careful. I didn't have any contacts in the phone book. Then I looked at the apps and there were very few, not even WhatsApp. What I did have were profiles on Instagram and Facebook, and there I was able to see who the cell phone supposedly belonged to. A certain Marta Gutierrez from Madrid. The content was super impersonal. There were very few photos of him. Almost everything was photos of buildings or landscapes without texts or comments. He also did not follow anyone, nor did he have any followers. On Facebook, I had no friends or interactions or anything, but I found his email and wrote to him. I didn't receive a response, so I posted this on his wall. As I already imagined, no one answered. I also posted this tweet on my account, in case someone who knew something read it, but it didn't help either. In short, in hacker mode, I put photos from her Facebook on Google Images to see if I could find another profile of this girl, because when I searched by your name, too many results appeared. That's how I came to this blog, but attention to the author's profile. Beatrice Williams the blog had been published in 2008, with photos of an American woman's trip through Spain. The photos are exactly the same as those on Marta Gutierrez's Facebook. It seems that this Marta, whoever she is, was using this girl's photos. In the blog profile, I found an email, so I wrote this to Beatrice to let her know that someone was impersonating her identity. This was a few days ago, but until a few hours ago, I have not received a response. And this is when I freaked out a lot. Beatrice Williams died eight years ago. But as I said at the beginning, this is not the strangest thing of all. Before reviewing all the apps, I looked at the call log, and there was a number that the supposed Marta Gutierrez had called many times. Amazing what happens when you call. Prueba número 6. Consigue las 12 piezas y envíanos la clave. And another very crazy thing is that there were text messages received from that same phone with sequences of numbers and letters. WTF. These days I've been thinking about all this a lot, and at first what seemed most logical to me was to think that this mobile phone was being used by a scammer. If this were so, surely the scammer knew that Beatrice was a foreign girl who had died a long time ago, and that this is why he used her photos to impersonate this Marta so that it would be more difficult for him to be caught. But something else occurs to me. That all this is related to some kind of internet game. I was recently reading about viral games that made people do crazy things. From what I read, behind these games there are usually scams or data theft or things like that. It might make sense that this phone belonged to someone who was into one of those weird games, right? And perhaps in order not to expose her true identity, she invented Marta Gutierrez. Furthermore, as I said before, it seems very strange to me that the cell phone does not have a lock code. That has me super obsessed. Maybe I'm making a movie, but maybe the person who had the cell phone hasn't lost it, but has gotten rid of it on purpose. I don't know if she was involved in a strange game, maybe she discovered something, they caught her and went after him, or her, and that's why she removed the block and threw away the cell phone, so that whoever found it could help her. Or maybe I'm freaking out a lot. This is just some kind of weird joke, or what do I know? Does anyone have another explanation? Vale, varios de vosotros me habéis escrito diciendo que cuando llamáis al número ese desde vuestro teléfono os sale un mensaje diferente. Y he probado a llamar desde mi teléfono y me sale el mismo mensaje que a vosotros. Tu teléfono no está autorizado. Por tu propia seguridad, no vuelvas a llamar a este número. Gracias. The truth is that, until now, I had not tried calling from my phone. If this is some kind of game, it looks like it can only be played from the one I found. Joe, 
Thank you all very much. I didn't expect so many comments. I'm overwhelmed, seriously. You have helped me a lot. I've seen that some of you were wondering if there were more sequences of numbers in the SMS or if they were just the 10 that was seen in yesterday's photo. There are 12 in total. You can see them all here. And as many of you have told me, it is clear that they are coordinates. They're all from Madrid. But according to this diagram by at Miri underscore MP, they don't seem to draw anything on the map. Anyway, the coordinates are only the first part of each sequence. If you look at the second part, they all end in 18. So clearly they are what some of you have said, dates. That is hour, minute, day, month, and year. The letters are repeated N, S, E, and O. That is, they refer to an orientation, north, south, east, and west. I tried to put one in the street view and pointed the camera towards the corresponding orientation, E for east, and look what appears. Does it sound familiar to you? It's one of his Instagram photos. I have checked it and it is what you said. Each coordinate corresponds to what is seen in each photo on Instagram and the publication dates also coincide with those in the SMS. I didn't realize until now, but the Instagram photos are also the only ones that aren't stolen from Beatrice Williams' blog. They must have been made by the person who was using this cell phone. Suddenly everything makes more sense. There are 12 coordinates, the recording talks about 12 pieces, and on Instagram there are 11 photos of locations. One would be missing. According to the last SMS, the next location must be photographed tonight at 11.47pm in this exact location. I've looked on Google, and although it cannot be seen on Street View, according to the satellite photo, it seems that there are only trees there. But what bothers me is that it puts the exact time at which the photo has to be taken. What I'm thinking is that maybe the time is important because something is going to happen at that moment. For example, in one of the photos, a truck appears, which I assume was there at the time indicated in the coordinate. In fact, the most logical thing is that the important thing about the truck is the number on it. The recording talks about 12 pieces and a code, so maybe each photo is a number in the code. Uh, four towers, a uh, four. Five fingers, a five. I've seen some tweets where you said the same thing, and I think it makes sense. The last number would be missing. The last picture. Although if I'm interpreting it correctly, and the photos in which there is nothing are zero, I suppose that the photo that needs to be taken tonight will also be a zero. Because there doesn't seem to be anything there, and no truck or anything like that is going to pass by hours. So I guess the code following the order of publication of the photos will be this. 974568104514305050. I'm going to try sending it. How strong. Look what has happened. Well, I only have one more try left, so I have to be absolutely sure what the last number is. Come on, we have to take a photo tonight, because something will probably happen. Damn, how exciting all this is. I'm living. The shit is that I can't go because I have to spend the night with my mother, and she lives far from that area. Please can someone stop by tonight and send me the photo? Really, thank you to all of you who were saying you were going tonight. Please be very careful. Thank you very much to all of you who are there sending me photos. You are the most. I see that in many photos a street lamp appears with a number, 361.
So the password has to be 974-568-1045143053361. I'm going to try sending it. I sent it a few minutes ago, but nothing has arrived. Before they answered me very quickly, so I don't know. I'm waiting to see what happens. Shit. This has come to me. We've done something wrong. Okay, sure. You're telling me to try uploading some of the photos to Mars Instagram to see if something happens. Go. Damn. I uploaded the one at Antoniaco, 23 cent, but absolutely nothing happened. There's something we're not seeing, right? I need to think a little more about all this. I'm convinced that you didn't go there at all, that with the photo and the 361 we can move forward, but right now I don't know how. Please don't stop telling me anything that comes to mind. Sorry I'm not responding, but I wasn't expecting this follow-up. Although it is being difficult, I am trying to read everything you tell me. Really, thank you very much. What you've repeated to me the most is that in the photo of the Congress there are not six columns, but twelve. And you may be right, there are six others behind. But there is another very strong thing that I've noticed. When I posted the last photo, all the images in the grid have moved and look what appears. An F? Damn. That's why the time was important. That's why there are such dark photos, so that they form the lyrics. I'm very sure that the letter is part of the key, otherwise it would not make sense to have to take the photos at certain times. What I don't know is if the F should be placed before or after the numbers. And there's also the thing about the columns. Maybe it's 12 instead of 6, but I don't know. Let's see. If there are 12 and we add the F, it could be... F97451281045143053631. Or 974512810451043053631F. And if there were a 6 with the F, we would have F97456810451043053631. Or 974568104514305361F. Okay, wait. So you were telling me that there are not 12 columns, that there are only 6. And you're right, they're like decorations on the wall, not columns. Plus they told me it was close, so I'm convinced it has to be one of those two keys. Which one do you think I should send? Joe, thanks for your help. I'm going to try sending the option that you voted for the most to see what happens. Hosts, I think it worked. But has this happened? What do I do with this now? Okay, I'll tell you because you're going to freak out. Since I was stuck with the monkey thing, it occurred to me to call the phone number again, and look what has happened. Prueba numero 7. Destripa al mono. Very strongly that the message is changing. At first I was a little confused, but then I thought it might refer to looking at the code in the image, so I did and I saw this. There was a URL hidden at the end of the code. And if you enter the URL, a fucking countdown appears. Damn, what a bad feeling this is giving me. A countdown to what? Furthermore, I don't know if I activated it when I entered the website or if it was already running. And hashtag red monkey? What is red monkey? I've searched for it on Google and very generic things appear, but nothing that seems to be related to this. The website forum asks for an answer that I don't know what it is. Uh, but the question is clear to me because I've called the plea that the phone number again and now this message appears. Prueba numero ocho. La primera frase del primer libro. I'm gonna think what it could be. If anyone finds a solution, let me know, okay? Thank you. Sorry that I haven't written again until now. But what is happening is very heavy, and I've come to consider not continuing. Damn, for starters, last night I realized that my Facebook has been hacked and filled with photos of red monkeys. 
Also, they've changed their email and phone number and everything, so I can't recover the account. These hashtag red monkey people are fucking hackers, it's clear. Has anyone else had something hacked? Let's see. In order, I already saw that many of you solved the question. In case anyone hasn't figured it out, it was the first sentence of Genesis. When I wrote the answer, they asked me for an email, and when I entered it, I received this. In the subject of the email, I felt the same as you, that I leave the camera clear. What a bad vibe. But look what happens to my laptop since I opened the email. Has it happened to someone else? The webcam has gone crazy and I don't know if someone has been watching me or what's going on. And even if I turn off the computer, when I turn it on, it keeps flashing. I cover the camera just in case. Inside the email, I saw the same thing that you say. A binary code that when translated gives you this link to Vimeo, but it has a password. I called the phone number again in case it gave me any new information, but the same message as last night keeps ringing. So I guess this is still Exhibit 8. And that's what you say. The flashing of the webcam has all the earmarks of being a Morse code. And maybe that's the password. I'm going to try to transcribe it and tell you. I'm continuing with this. But it's a very long code, and it's the first time I've done something like this. It's costing me a little. I already know where it starts and where it ends, because I have seen that there is a moment where it stops for 10 seconds and starts again. I have translated all the Morse code. There are more than 200 characters. I copy them in the following tweet. I'm not going to read this out. There's far too many letters. I'm going to lose my mind if I do. Thank you for understanding. I've tried putting it on Vimeo, but it doesn't work. I've checked it several times and I've convinced it's fine. So I don't know what else to do. Any ideas? Let's see. I have something. I called the phone number again, and now another message pops up. The one for test number nine. And I guess it's related, right? But I do not know how. What number are they referring to? I've tried removing all the letters from the Morse code and keeping only the numbers as many of you were saying, but it doesn't work. That's not the password for the video. Let's see, more things you're telling me. I've sent another SMS to the phone with the Morse code, with all the letters and without them, but they don't send me anything. I've also tried single lyrics via SMS and via Vimeo, but still, this doesn't work either. No, the phone number is not the password for the video either. I tried that a while ago. If you try it, you will see that it does not work. Damn. Of course, I saw what you were saying that the number could be that of the test itself. Nine. So it occurred to me to divide the Morse code into partitions of nine. The password may be one of these. Seriously, what the hell is all this? I already saw that you're sharing the fucking video.
And yes, that's what you're saying. The ones in the video are my mother and I. Whoever's behind all this snuck into my mother's house on Tuesday and recorded us while we were sleeping. Let's see, I'm fine. Thanks to those of you who are asking, but I'm extremely overwhelmed because when I removed the phone case, I found this note, which they must have included when they came in to record us. And now I can't find my mother anywhere. I called her and she didn't answer me and I went to her house and she wasn't there. Please, if anyone has seen anything, let me know. The last time I saw her was Wednesday morning. He lives in the Aravaca area. Her name is Maria del Carmen Sarmentero. She is this. A few weeks ago I lost my keys, but now I think that I didn't lose them, but that they were stolen and that's how they broke into my mother's house. I feel like an idiot because I got myself into this whole game or whatever the hell it is, and now I don't know what the hell to do. I also don't know if I should go to the police because they asked me not to tell them and I don't want them to do anything to my mother. I have to go where they told me. If my mother is in danger, I will do anything. It's this afternoon, but I really can't tell you where they called me or at what time. They asked me to go alone. I don't want to put anyone in danger or risk anything being done to my mother. If I don't tweet again, I don't know. I guess everything will have gone wrong. I am where they asked me, but there is no one. A car is coming. just started. I can't believe she's stuffed in a trunk. The car stopped and another person got in. I think there are at least two men now. I've managed to record something they've said, but it's, it's not well understood. where we're going, but I've been in here for almost an hour. Damn, I'm running out of battery. My phone died, so now I'm using the one I found, which still has a lot of battery. They left me in a garage and left. I haven't been able to talk to anyone. I do not know where I am. I saw that they were driving on the A1 highway towards Burgos, but then my cell phone went off and with this other one I can't geolocate myself. I don't know why.
There's only one button. The fucking red monkey. Damn, there's nothing here. Nor does it seem like there is anyone. There's only rubble. But you hear something very strange. I found this. <laughs> the sound of the jungle? I don't know what password to put. I've tried monkey, red monkey, red monkey, monkeys, and everything I can think of. But nothing works. I don't know what it could be. You freak out. I have been told this and it has worked. The password was the title of the soundtrack that was playing. Red Monkeys 2. On the desktop, there's a folder with my name. What the fuck? After what I just saw, it's clear that the fake Marta Gutierrez and the supposed lost cell phone were nothing more than bait. I don't know if this tweet is going to be published. I'm having problems with the network. Do you read me? Coverage is like a layer. I still can't geolocate myself to know where I am. I think there's something blocking the signal. Last night when the alarm went off, I got scared and ran away. I managed to get out of the building, but it was all surrounded by forest. I tried to find a house, a road, or something, but there's a wall surrounding the area. I spent the whole night hiding in the forest. They've been looking for me. I recorded this at dawn. The alarm has not stopped ringing, although from time to time it goes off for a few minutes. Sorry it's taken me so long to explain all this. I've noticed that I only have a little bit of coverage at the hour mark, which is right when the alarm stops ringing. Behold! And a moment ago I saw this. I'm gonna get closer.
These antennas may be the ones that are blocking coverage. This is like some kind of huge telecommunications complex. I'm freaking out. Seriously, who are these people? I don't know what to do. I don't know how to get out of here. And I can't leave without my mother. Damn, my mother as well. My friend at SXNDRXKV sent me this via DM. Sandra, cariño, ¿sabes algo de Nela? Es que la estoy llamando por teléfono y lo tiene apagado. Sí, estoy bien. Estoy como en una habitación de hotel. Me he despertado aquí hace, no sé, hace un rato. Pero es que no sé ni qué hotel es, ni dónde estoy, ni cómo he llegado aquí, ni nada. Es que no entiendo nada. Si Nela te llama, dile que me llame, ¿vale? Un beso. I have to get out of here now. Now I'm going to call the police to get me out of here. Sorry I didn't say anything an hour ago. After my last tweet, I tried to call the police, but there was no signal. I tried calling my mother, and she didn't either. So the next hour, when the alarm went off again, it occurred to me to call the testing number to see if they would give me any new information. I recorded the call. Prueba final. Corrige la señal desde la jungla y serás libre. I guess what they want is for me to go back to where the computer was and try to do something so that the signal doesn't go off every hour. If they use some programming code that I control, maybe I can do it. I don't understand anything. I don't understand why all these tests, why they kidnapped and released my mother, because I... I'm going back to the building. I think the only way out of here is to do what they ask of me. I know it's crazy to go back in there, but damn. I hope they don't do anything to me. Let's see. My mother is fine. I'm fine. They really haven't done anything to me so far? What bothers me is this countdown thing. Is it the same time I have to pass the final test? I'm already in the building. I took these photos when I arrived. I'm in front of the computer. The good thing is that I see I have full access to the source code. I know the programming language. I'm trying to figure out why it fails. I'm moving forward. I found a bug that causes the log to be deactivated for 280 seconds every hour on the hour. I'm trying to delete it, but so far I can't. Plus, it's stressful working on this with a fucking alarm going off, and I'm very hungry and very sleepy. Okay, I think I have it. I can make the blocking signal continuous. That is, it does not deactivate on the hour. If I keep going, I'll completely erase the coverage. If this is what they want, I will have passed the test but I will not be able to communicate again. I just hope I'm doing the right thing and then this whole game is over. I've compiled it and now I'm gonna update the system. If everything is fine, it should work. Nella is ours. Finally, we will return to the origin. Let's be free, hashtag red monkey. I'm fine. Thank you for worrying about me and sorry for the silence, but it was necessary. I have had to process a lot of things. It's time to give all the explanations. To start, yes, I managed to make the blocking continuous. I understood that I had passed the test and the game was over because right after that the lights came on, the alarm went off and coverage was completely restored. Then a group of people appeared. They were not wearing masks and they told me what this was all about. They used a cell phone he was carrying to write last night's tweet. They chose me because I was a perfect candidate. And they knew it because I shared all that information myself on my social networks like we all do. We constantly give away our data, our tastes, our emotions, and using all of that, they designed the perfect way to recruit me. And I'm not the only one. There are more candidates who have made it this far, and each one has done it in a different way. Hashtag Red Monkey is much bigger than I thought. There are hundreds of people organized worldwide. They work to build a healthier internet, more similar to the original idea. They want to create a digital world in which people are aware of the decisions they make, the access they have to their information, and the use that is made of their data. And they have come to the conclusion that there is only one way to achieve this, by restarting the internet. They are going to delete everything. When the web countdown reaches zero, the internet will begin its reboot. 
all the data we have dumped, all the images and opinions we have shared, all our profiles will disappear. You're probably thinking this is crazy. I thought that too. But this week they've shown us all how exposed we are. You yourselves, for example, gave up your email without thinking about it on the Countdown website. With the data with which we have fed big data, governments, large corporations, and other shadow organizations can know whatever they want about us. We accept their conditions in long text that no one is willing to read, and in this way we give them information of great value, which they can use to manipulate us. This week, hashtag RedMonkey demonstrated it with me, and you all saw it. They knew who he was, how he would react at every moment, what skills he had, how he would share it on Twitter, and how you all would help me. They knew everything before they even broke into my computer. They knew that I liked enigmas and mystery, uh, they knew how important my mother was to me, they knew what programming languages I use, and that I work well under pressure. And they use all this to lead me to them. And most importantly, they knew I would share it all on Twitter. I, like you, was also surprised that they prevented me from going to the police, but allowed me to continue telling all this publicly, and that is why I trusted it. They have used me to spread their message to the entire world before the mass deletion. Evidently, Marta Gutierrez never existed. They used photos of a deceased girl to create this mystery that would lead me to them. Faking my mother's kidnapping was the pressure for me to continue until the end. The last test was the one that was really aimed at me. It was his way of checking if I am qualified to be part of hashtag Red Monkey, that I am able to control the blocking signal. This blocking signal is only a small part of a series of virtual attacks that have been designed for years, and that will be launched today starting at 8.18pm Spanish time. These attacks will infect the hundreds of thousands of servers where each organization houses our data. It is already something unstoppable. And I, after processing all this, have decided to join hashtag Red Monkey. We have a unique opportunity to, together, build an organized and healthy digital world. A safer network, closer to the original idea and completely removed from what we have turned it into. I know what you're thinking. This massive deletion of data is going to cause enormous economic and social chaos. But if you had seen everything they have taught me, you would understand that it is a lesser evil. Believe me. Please. I would just like to thank all of you who have helped me get here. This victory is not mine or hashtag red monkeys. It belongs to everyone. Clean slate. We need it. Informationen deuten darauf hin, dass es sich um eine Gruppierung mit mehreren Tausenden Mitgliedern aus verschiedenen Ländern handelt, die so weit reichen, dass sie sich in den And there you have it.
Red Monkey, a story written and directed by Manuel Bartual and Modesto Garcia, starring Nello Garcia. Man, I was not expecting Manuel Bartual behind this. He also did the, the doppelganger story that I've covered on my channel before. Very, very cool stuff, honestly. Uh, an interesting story for sure. It got a bit of a slowdown kind of in the end there, but I, I enjoyed it. You know, it, it was, I thought it was quite fun. Uh, and I hope you did too. That's what matters here, you know. More narration videos will be coming. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.